Hello, Internet! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Pup on and Pep's Dog on a Stick! All praise be to God on this amazing day! Today, we're starting the third world, and it should be familiar to those of you who've played the Winorama. It's the Cartown Beach! This time, we're on some wooden posts, and this is oil. If you jump on it, it will force you to slip in whatever jump uh, direction you jump on it in. And these are beach balls. They're another obstacle on our path. They always bounce downwards, but which way they bounce, besides down, left or right, is completely random. But we can jump through them just like the other ones. And they have a nasty tendency to follow you around, so... The beach balls can be rather irritating if you're not looking out for them. Look out for the rascally critters! And that... <laughs> you can see the bear right there has a Hawaiian shirt, and that's amazing. And the rascally critters, like bears, are affected by oil, so... Not all of them are, but the bears are. Catch him if you can, hugger. This has some underrated music. I like the Balloonorama Beach music better, but... <laughs> Thanks. No real advice, just good luck, you're really gonna need it! Oh, yep, that's what happens when you get hit by a beach ball. Yeah, as you can see, the beach balls themselves are not affected by oil in the slightest. My goal is to not have a game over in this. Look out for the rascally critters! You better believe I will, Pep Putt. So some pretty simple levels to begin with. We're still definitely in the very easy part of the game. And honestly, it doesn't really pick up until World 6. And it never gets anywhere near as hard as some of the other uh, Junior Adventures. Like, this might be the easiest of the Junior Arcade games. Oh boy, cats are back. Why don't they have Hawaiian shirts? Well, we all know what a level East Finley divisible by five means. It means bonus level hidden somewhere. Oh, and that's where it is, apparently. Cool. As you can see, cats are also affected by the oil slicks. Very simple game, but very fun. I like it a lot. Wow, two extra lives in a row. Sweet! Bonus! Hurry up and go catch all those presents! So now we have four presents. I knew he would jump into me eventually. Alright, this last one might be a bit problematic. There we go. Woohoo! Sweet! Good luck, Bonus levels are super fun. Oh yeah! It's time for the uh, super jump panel again. Hamburger! Yes, please. Yeah. 
So just be patient with the beach balls and they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Even if you don't know how to jump through them in midair, they're still not too bad once you keep your eye on them and know which way they can possibly go. This is a cool level. You've got the X of oil here. Also, I just like how like you're jumping on the wooden posts that you sometimes see at beaches. It's a very creative idea. A lot of the worlds in this are really cool. Um, okay. Not sure why he just did that, but okay. Also, the hot chocolate makes you slip faster. Give me my points! Yeah! <laughs> hot chocolate is like caffeine for Pep. I just realized, Pep should, not, Pep should not be eating chocolate ice cream or hot chocolate. Chocolate is very dangerous for dogs. Ah, oh, man. That was my own fault, though. I guess now we get to see, does the hot chocolate... Nope, the hot chocolate wears off after at the end of the level, or after you fall off, or get hit by a critter. Stupid beach ball. Yeah. Again, both of those deaths... Or not deaths. Both of those knockouts got caused by my own, like, negligence. Easily, both of them could have been prevented, but I was just a little too eager. And there we go. In hindsight, it probably would have been faster just to go to the exit and get slightly more bonus points, but... You know what? Who cares? Look out for the rascally critters! Do -do -do -do. I just realized we still haven't gotten hit by one of the bears. Oh, we're about to... Ch yep. The bears aren't very, like, aggressive. They just really want to hug you. You be careful out there! Hugs are dangerous! Apparently. Yeah, so when you get close to the rascally critters, just wait until you know which direction they're gonna jump. Oh yeah, steak. Steak is truly one of the greatest foods on Earth. Especially if it's a really nice cut of meat, like filet mignon. Oh yeah, it's hard to beat that. I also appreciate that the designers of this game never really went super sadistic in terms of level design. They left that up to you should you choose to use the custom level creator. And now we've got the green sticky slime back. Oh, good. Bonus level. But I gotta get that hamburger. Oh man, a hamburger would be really good right now. I feel like the beach balls do have some sort of intelligence. Like, I feel like it's not always random which way they bounce. Maybe that's just my imagination, though. Bonus to the level! Catch those guys and score bonus points! This one's gonna be a bit tougher. Because we have to travel quite a bit ways before we can go around to the other side of the course. Sweet! 
Well, that worked out really well. Alright, time for World 4, and it's possibly my favorite world in the game. Hey, there's a trampoline! Welcome to Penguin Paradise. This is also the only world in the game that has the penguin enemies, which is a shame. They're exactly like the bears and the cats, but they have a really amazing animation if you happen to get touched by one. Also, the bears have little earmuffs. It's adorable. And, of course, beautiful music. And gorgeous background. I'm actually going to get hit by one of these guys to show it off. <laughs> it's one of the penguins from Puppet Saves the Zoo who just really wants to dance. I will. I seriously wish the penguins were like the most common enemy in the game. I did not see that coming. But again, my own fault. No, not again! <laughs> I swear that was not intentional. <laughs> also, you can't put the penguins in the custom levels you make. It's a really a shame. But seriously, the music of this world is so beautiful! How could anyone not fall in love with this world? Oh, I love the starry sky too. It's so pretty. Good luck, Pep. Oh boy, it's penguin dance off. Penguins versus Super Pep. This will be fun. Forgot to introduce. Yeah, those are trampolines. Jump on them and it'll. As you saw from the last level, you jump on the trampoline, it bounces you forward two spaces in whatever direction now you jumped on it. Now. So it's kind of like the blue uh, portal, except it only does it once. And sometimes trampolines are traps, so you do need to watch how many spaces ahead it's going to launch you. Oh man, the penguins brought me out of my single, uh, double digit live count. Yeah, I'm going after that last penguin. Oh, and how dandy! Super Pep saves the day again! Thank you. I was going to if you hadn't said that. Dog on a Stick just has really good music all around. The next world, not so much, but every other world is pretty awesome. How did the bears get off sync in terms of their jumping? Pardon me, excuse me, just going to the exit, don't mind me. Pep Cubert would be proud. Hop to it, Pep! Oh, you know I will. I think the audience is going to appreciate the slightly longer videos, so it's not... I'm not uploading these for a while? Oh no. Oh, that's bad. I forgot where those were hop uh, hopping from. Back down to nine lives. Darn it. I'm not a cat. Okay, there we go. That end, that end gauntlet can be a bit uh, tricky. You gotta time when you wanna jump and hope that they're both. Don't 
Bitch. Oh, super pep right from the get-go. Okay, that's cool. I appreciate that they put bones on, like, every platform. Um, okay. That penguin's like, I'd rather die than get uh, hit by Super Pep. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I was wondering where that was. And go catch all those presents. Thankfully, I don't think the presents can jump off a cliff, which is nice. Also, the presents are not affected by the oil slicks, as you can see. Get back here. Thank you! Sweet! That was a slick move, Pep! <laughs> Look before you leave, Pep! I love that little penguin popping out of the uh, uh, snow in the background. It's a lovely touch. Oh, lemons! I must have those lemons. I don't know what lemons are doing in an Antarctic area, but... You know what? I won't... I will not complain. The lemons give you plenty of points, so... Okay, the graphics on the ice platforms are also beautiful. They've got that little shine to them. It's just... just really hey, breathtaking. And honestly, all of these look like hand-drawn graphics, which is amazing. I miss games like this. Alright, I'm not gonna be stupid this time. You're not dancing with me! I've shown off enough dancing. Hi ho, Cherio! Alright, let's see. Uh, there we go. Again, not really sure what cherries are doing in an ice area, but I'm happy they're there anyways. Man, that penguin just loves going to the exit. But I got there anyways. Meh, meh. Ice cream! Pup Pup, look around you. There's ice everywhere. Ice cream's not gonna be super refreshing. But admittedly, ice cream does make a lot of sense in this area. Okay, now we got a little bit of a puzzle where it's like we gotta use the trampolines in the proper way to get to the exit. These are the kind of dog on a stick levels I really like. Yay! Back up to 12 lives. Make sure we don't bounce on top of the penguin. Let's see how you dance, penguin. To the exit! I like that level. Very cool! Look <laughs> out for the rascally critters! This penguin's design are super adorable as well. Hot chocolate's also very appropriate. Oh, I almost jumped off a cliff there. Thank goodness it dropped my click. I really like 
like the items in these games that make you go faster. Don't jump off the edge! This might be one of those levels where you really have to watch out for where the trampolines are taking you. It's kind of cool how each world introduces like a new gimmick. And that just kind of like introduces you to them, like shows you what they're capable of, and then they get used in future worlds, kind of integrating new gimmicks as well. So like, first world was just introducing you to the basics and introducing the bears. Second world introduced you to the green sticky stuff. Third world, uh, this world introduced you to trampolines. Last world introduced you to oil, and you can see that like all the gimmicks are just kind of compounding on each other. It's really cool and very well designed by the developers. I just know that one up there is going to take me to the bonus level. Yep. Woohoo! Last bonus level of the day. Hurry up and go catch all those presents. I will. Come on, get back here. <laughs> that worked. Yeah, you'll notice the presents are faster than I am. So you just kind of got to rely on them jumping into you yours, themselves. And that's going to do it for this episode of Pup-Pup and Pep's Dog on a Stick. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be going to a very wild world, I think you'll find. Have a great day, and God bless.